All right, it's trade again roiling the markets. Tariffs set to go up from 10% to 25% on a 200 plus page list of nearly 5,800 products that are imported into this country from Japan. Everything from antiques of an age exceeding 100 years, very specific, to zinc ores and concentrates. It could take a toll when we look at international companies like Dow and DuPont, which sell items on the list like polymeric MDI, amine resins, and cellulose acetate. Those chemicals are on the list, and they could move the shipping operation for products like that offshore because they have many operations around the globe. After 14 years of leading that company, our next guest had the longest tenure for a CEO of Dow Chemical and probably the most transformative, too. Andrew Liveris took a cyclical chemicals manufacturing company and injected innovation into it and grew it exponentially. His tenure capped with the merger of Dow and DuPont, the two giants that are now separated once again. Last year, he was appointed a special advisor for Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund and, it's a biggie, sits on the board of directors of Saudi oil giant Aramco. In his first interview, since, I don't want to say retiring from Dow, Andrew Liveris has chosen Fox Business and Countdown for his first interview. Thank you so much. Happy to be here, Liz. Okay, Thank you. Okay, not retirement. You're calling Definite. it? Definitely. Activement. Let me, activement. Okay, you invented New term. The word. New term. Make sure to trademark it. I, I will. Andrew, we have to talk to you specifically about all of the chemicals on the list of trade. We are just hours away from new tariffs possibly kicking in, heightened tariffs. Mm -hmm. Do you think that'll happen, and what does that mean? Um, I, I don't have an inside view on that other than knowing both sides very well and understanding what the Trump administration has done where I single-handedly as a business leader stood up and said this is the right thing to do um, and some short-term pain may be necessary uh, of that type that's pretty punitive as you said American consumers will suffer uh, but you know sometimes these moves have to be made to show the other side that we're serious and honestly so you mentioned uh, you know my book make it in America 2011 I talked about fair trade back then and President Trump's administration is putting it in place and and we, we've got to worry about products, like chemical products, I agree with you, but honestly, the world economy, services and technology, if we don't get equilibrium between two, these two massive economies on the trade of services and the trade of technology and protecting that, and, and yes, it may need China to change their laws, and we've got to be able to stare that down. But you've been dealing with China over your 14 yes. years. Yes. Have they cheated on you? Have they stolen intellectual property from Dow in the past? I mean, these are real issues. Are they not? So the only IP issue we had of the stealing kind was through Taiwan to China. So we had an instance actually in polyurethanes many years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we had another one in agriculture. Uh, it, it, look, I'm very convinced that protecting technology mm -hmm. and how Dow approached it was we were very careful with it. Layers of protection with employees and all the things you'd imagine. But the inevitability of China learning from the West there were only four labs Western owned in 1990. There's now over 40,000 Western owned labs in China. This is now an opportunity for the Chinese to do what they need to do to grow their economy. So protecting U.S. national economy interests, companies in China, I fully support what the tra Trump even, administration is even doing. Even if it means a ding to stocks. Look at all these names. Yeah, you know, know. Those are China stocks, but U.S. sensitive yeah. stocks to China trade. Absolutely. Boeing, Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing yeah. had a rough day today. Yeah, and Dow. I mean, uh, my legacy company. These are not easy times, so we've got to basically recognize that this is you know, a four-year plan, uh, the administration did regulatory reform, did tax reform, trade reform and fairness is clearly one of the mantras of the president and his administration. So the companies that will benefit mm -hmm. from that will be the Dow's and the 3M's I have with to time. I have to ask you about Saudi Arabia, yes. sitting on the border uh, on the board of Aramco, but you're also dealing with the Saudis. Yes. You know, this is a country that has serious human rights issues. Yes. Of course, the Washington Post uh, columnist Khashoggi, who was murdered, uh, those people are very, very much related to the government, and they just recently had a mass execution of people. Andrew, how, how do you look at yourself in the mirror and still do business with them? Well, I'm 43 years global business. Uh, I sat through the emergence of China under Deng Xiaoping. Who today talks about, not to diminish the Khashoggi incidents and the severity, I don't know anything about it other than what I read. I would tell you that incident was tragic and was terrible and from a human rights point of view, not a good thing. And I say that in Saudi Arabia, like I say it to you, saying it publicly. But do you remember June 4th, 1989? 
and Tiananmen Square. Yes. Did we all keep doing business with China? Yes. Did we all figure out that it's better to be on the right side of that conversation rather than the wrong side, which is what? Do we want Saudi Arabia to become Iraq? Do we really want to see no. the degradation of that neighborhood? Uh, the government of Saudi Arabia, the young crown prince, and what they're doing to reform their society is why I'm there. I want to be on the side of helping them become a 21st century economy, which means Aramco, beyond oil, you know, to quote that, diversifying the renewables, the city of Neon, which we'll talk about on this panel later today. These are all forces to help Saudi Arabia become a better place. That's why I'm there. Andrew Liveris, he has to run and go be on the stage, but he came to us first on Fox Business. And thank, thank you, you so much. Good luck in your activement. Thank you. Not retirement. Trademarked. There you go. <laughs> right now, get off the stage and trademark that. Andrew Liveris, formerly Thanks. of Dow.